Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, I was uh, trying to get into the Nellis... Not the Nellis. What the hell am I talking about? The Repcon office building. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, for some reason, I got goofed up by the uh, whole thing uh, for the quest line uh, popping up while I was setting up the episode. And uh, it threw me off a bit because one of them is the Nellis Air Force Base. Anyway, um, trying to get into the Repcon office and not have all the robots kill me. And apparently, since the opening hours are between uh, between 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., I'm just going to come in during that hour, as you can see. It's like 10.26, so it's good enough. Um... I could use that to repair stuff. Why not? Yeah, I could use that by breaking it down for sure. Uh, nothing good on you. And eh, some good things on you. Okay, well, uh, I hope I don't piss anyone off by using this. Although, they're robots. I don't think they really care. Um, messages. Well, there's like only five only five passwords it could possibly be. So, process of elimination time. Messages is four out of eight. So, hmm. I don't want to say merchant, but massacre? Hey, hey, that's the weird password to pick, but okay, sure. Alright, that just gets me some XP for that. Oh, and he doesn't come over here to yell at me. Okay, cool. I think I... It tells me that the opening hours are only a set time. Okay. That didn't piss anyone off? Good. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Now... Okay, this is not a good idea to go into. That's not a good idea to go into. Uh... Another locked average door. I could force a lock, but nah... Why do that when I can guarantee it'll open by doing this shenanigans? What? Okay, I get all these again. All of these. I'm just gonna slam the button. Like, get all of them. There we go. Um, scrap electronics, sensor module, all the good stuff. Oh, I should probably take that other wonder to two. Uh, empty syringes. Medex, always good. I'm really hoping I don't get anyone's attention. Because this could go bad real fast. Why I picked up all those uh, microfusion cells? I don't know. I could just turn them for a profit. That's about all the explanation I have. And he's not even getting angry at me. I love it. <laughs> and I'm just going to hack this computer from behind it. Uh, waste Lord. Waste Lord. Uh, I want this. I want this to be the title of Garbage Collectors now. To be Waste Lords. I want this. Push this. I want this. <laughs> waste Lord. <laughs> oh, I love it. Waste Lord. Fucking. Fucking push this. All right. Uh. Again, another process of elimination because there's only five of them. Uh, mountains? No, that's not it. Uh, magnitude? Fuck, no, it's not. Alright, um... Allowance replenish, which means... Try... Not initially, maybe magnitude. Uh... What? No, I already did that, that's right. Dwindling? There we go. I forgot I already did magnitude. I'm stupid. Ah, oh, boy. I'm broken. Let's add user facial data to database. Yay! For the first floor access, I can go anywhere I want. Alright, we've already read all of this. Gone through all of this. There we go. Cool beans. Now that I've done that... Hi there! Uh, not anything necessary right now. Ooh. Ah, the gift shop once again. Why is there little vats of radioactive wastes? Why is that a thing? 
Oh. Oh, Muggy would flip his shit. Let's get a couple of these for the road. Uh. <laughs> Let's make Muggy a little happy, huh? A little happier than not at all. <laughs> Which, let's face it, his existence is a terrifying reminder. Don't program simple things for robots that are not going to want, or not going to have the ability to do that thing. And do not also push a unending need to do that thing when eventually there will be no need of it left. That is fucking cruel to the robot. Especially if you give it feelings to know that it is cruel. Okay. I feel bad for Muggy, man. <laughs> Muggy goes through so much shit and he doesn't deserve it. Alright, uh, I've never... There's a sawed-off shotgun. Is that repairable with anything I have? It is. It's essentially a pistol. Alright. That is good to know. Now I know things that I did not previously. Um, caravan shotguns. Uh, let's repair the brush gun with it. Possibly sell it off later in life. Huh? Maybe that's a possibility. Since it's Asperiel, I don't need that. Ooh, big book of science. Always a good idea. Ooh, and I'll take all of these, because why not? Um, perfect. Good stuff. Rocket souvenirs, which would be absolutely worthless to me entirely. Um, they don't have weight, but still, I'm not going to grab them. Fuck that. Um, there's a thing I was going to do. Big book of science. There we go. And stats-wise, where's my skills at for science? Already at 100. That was worthless. Why did I grab it? I know why, because I'm stupid. All right. Just fucking go through here. There's little things I could activate to learn about Repcon, but right now I just kind of want to go through, see if there's any loot first. Oh. Oh, that would piss people off. That would piss people off real good. Let's learn about the fucking, uh, this fucking big boy. This sentry robot. Sentry bot thing. Watch your step. Whoa, watch your step. You don't want to be facing this fearsome fellow if you accidentally stumble into a restricted area. Whether sporting the latest in dual miniguns, rockets, or laser cannons, the sentry bot not only takes its job seriously, it also takes no prisoners. It's proof of Robco's, <laughs> Robco's commitment to defense that these deadly guards are concealed in chambers throughout this facility. So let this be a warning. Watch where you step, or out will come Robco, guns blazing. <laughs> Exhibit brought to you by your friends at Robco, even though they just basically threatened you. Okay. And... The fuck is this? I don't think I've ever seen this. The hell? It looks like an upside-down Protectron. <laughs> well, it'd be sideways Protectron with this. this that's weird weird looks like an attempt at making a rocket car rocket car yeah, maybe maybe okay. okay some folks have asked why not a protectron with wheels oh this was this <laughs> this is a robot okay <laughs> robco wasn't afraid to answer that question the protecto bot is the answer there's no space in there that's goofy while safety standards prevented this freewheeling dynamo from entering the mass market production despite Robco's best intentions and teams of lawyers. <laughs> uh, that's good to know even in fucked America. Corporate America still couldn't get what they wanted in all ways. <laughs> we take consolation in letting you <laughs> in letting you can see Pfft, that's not grammar. <laughs> This extremely well-funded experiment... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have doubts. As it was intended, a robot moving so fast it looks like it's standing still. That is probably not true. Whoa. This is a completely deconstructed Mr. Handy. As you can tell by the fact that there's no bits... Oh, wait. There's bits in the head. It's just goofy. 
Why did they open it? Why did they open it? it doesn't make any sense. Okay, the hand in handy. Oh, I'm 12. <laughs> you never can have too many. Give me a minute. <sighs> okay. You never can have too many hands. Three, why not four? That's what... That was Robco's inspiration behind the popular and cost-effective Mr. Handy model, the first of the line shown here. Always a help around the household, whether with mom in the kitchen using its titanium circular power saw. Cause that's necessary in the kitchen. <laughs> Or in the garage with Dad using its armor-piercing laser array, because that's necessary in the garage. <laughs> Mr. Handy is not just helpful, he's your friend, too. Only in Fallout 4, and just barely. Okay, the I in iBot. Hey, Eddie, look! It's you! Kind of. That's kind of goofy-looking, too. All right. <laughs> Robco's always had an eye for robotics, and this little fellow is no different. This robotic marvel can not only recognize your face and voice with advanced facial and auditory recognition technology, it can also broadcast video and audio as well. Think of it. All the sights and sounds of your radio and TV in your living room at home, blasted directly at you on the street, subway, bathroom, or wherever you may be. Never fear, you'll never miss a news bulletin or presidential address again, no matter where you are. Yeah, about that. <laughs> I would rather miss the latter. <laughs> the first one just makes me depressed. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> this is a good way to fucking be a doofus. That's, that's pretty much this episode, me being a doofus. Green Bean, okay. Officially called the Z43-521P by silly engineers. <laughs> okay. That's probably its designation due to how many fucking attempts it took. We prefer to call this little scrapper by its true nickname, the Green Bean. After all, which would you prefer in your back backyard garden? A smoldering Z43-521P or Green Bean? <laughs> what kind of question is that? One sounds like it belongs, if mentioned on the news, and make news it did. Featuring Repcon's plasma engine, it was so newsworthy that we decided to take the quantum matter modulator unit out and see if we could use it for non-explosive uses. Rocket nickname chosen after results of first trial landing. Well, then. <laughs> yeah, maybe, uh, maybe you shouldn't have tried that at all, really. Okay. Big, fat, fiery friend. <laughs> okay. I need to know the reason behind this nickname. V29321G may look like a big, fat, red rocket, Rocketeers, but old fatty <laughs> ran circles around the Earth not so long ago. So let's see you keep up. Sure, V29321G's re-entry gave it its more commonly known nickname a... Big fat fiery Fred, but here at Repcon we chose to focus on the successes and apply what we learned about explosive resistant shielding to future models and even our landing platforms. Wow. You guys were I wanna say several leagues worse than SpaceX. <laughs> several leagues worse if you were having to deal with constant explosions. For fuck's sake. SpaceX is even better in that regard. For fuck's sake. The newly reconstructed Repcon launch facility was a direct beneficiary of this discovery. No shit. Alright. <laughs> needle nose. That doesn't look like a needle nose in any capacity. I mean, compared to these two, maybe, but... This leak in purple R77293A, Jesus Christ, so many fucking numbers, needle nose, is what happens when you mix fossil and plasma in a rocket and shake it up. Oh, that doesn't, that, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like you definitely will 
to make an explosive there. The fossil fuels punch this sharp-nosed terror through the sky, and the plasma is used to shoot it through space to planets where Repcon can mine more fossil fuels, continuing the whole cycle again. Interplanetary mining and resource rights still in negotiation. Of course they are. Of course they are. Whoa. This actually looks shiny and new. And untouched. Although, to be fair, this looks like textures didn't load in. I'm willing to bet it was the latter and textures didn't load in properly. Rockets away! Just like the rocket you see here, we're aimed at the sky, but we've got a ceiling in the way. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. Sea Rocketeers, while Repcon is, was, focused on non-radioactive propulsion engines, we still need to sneak back and use some of our old proven techniques with nuclear-driven engines to make space travel a reality. <laughs> I like the little stars in there. Any implication of radioactive material as negative is unintentional and in no way reflects Robco or its a subsidiary Repcon. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> way to push that non-radioactive... <laughs> oh boy <laughs> propaganda there alright partnered with our new buddy Robco we've dug up older cheaper technology for upcoming orbital projects no worries even if you can't always see what we're up to up there we can see you that's creepy also there's this thing ready set launch force your parents a short drive south and you'll see the retractable dome of Repcon's launch facility not actual size We've already seen that. They, we sent ghouls into space. <laughs> made one of the rockets probably go boom at some point. You may have heard wild stories about rocket flights and their impact on nearby towns and communities, but Repcon feels you can't put a price on space exploration. After all, Rocketeers, you do want to go into space someday, don't you? Statement is figurative and inadmissible as evidence in a court of law. Wow, they covered their ass real good. Okay, well. Oh, I see. Radioactive waste? <laughs> oh, God. We've all heard stories that radiation is dangerous. Fact or fiction? <laughs> the star. Rhetorical questions and nomenclature of exhibit items cannot be used as a basis for criminal prosecution. <laughs> Oh my god, they are completely trying to cover their ass. This is corporate fucking America in a nutshell. Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking fuck. A common a common sight and that's the wrong sight. <laughs> I love how there's now two stars that link to the same fucking thing. A common sight in factories, military installations, and basements of select government-funded middle schools. <laughs> That's fucked up. These safety barrels are just what the name implies. Safe. While their attractive coloring can be interpreted as a warning, for Repcon, it's an invitation to a future filled with nuclear power. That's... Oh. That's not remotely true. Nuclear family. Um... Uh, uh, that just looks like a landfill filled with nuclear waste. Why, look here! A pile of itty-bitty safety barrels, all nestled together like a family sitting down to dinner. Wow! Oh my Jesus, Horatio Harold Howard Christ. Oh, wow. Now, while it's claimed even the safest nuclear waste disposal procedures, procedures, I can't fucking talk because I'm fucking flabbergasted with this shit, seep poison into the environment that never ever goes away. In Repcon's case, we say it all depends on where you put them, and Nevada's just the place. Well, way to fucking poison Nevada. Nomenclature for hazardous waste barrels as per Repcon glossary specs. Okay. Fair enough. That is apparently no, intentional. You, um, don't need anything right now. Plasma what? Hold up, Rocketeers. What's this? This trio of cylinders isn't a trio of cylinders at all. What? It kind of looks like it is. They're containers holding what some scientists call plasma. Can you say plasma? 
how old do they think these kids are? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Repcon's always looking to the future in our future. We don't have to worry about radiation, health risks, or lawsuits when using this new and improved fuel source to blast our robots or rockets into and out of the sky. Ah, they had to add the lawsuits part. They had to make it so bad. <laughs> Clarification. Cylinders and plasma are factually correct designations of display items, both by definition and by the scientific community. Well, then, doesn't that mean you're full of bull honky? Okay. You're the tour guide. I'm here to talk to you. Um, oh, you're talking to, <laughs> talking to her. That makes sense, then. Did I ever go in here and see what was in here? Uh, nothing. Okay, that's fine. Um, how may I serve you, master? I'm eh, fine. Right now, uh, let's fucking see a robot come over here and get pissy at me. What time is it? One twenty-eight. Holy fuck! I only have so much time to get all of the shit in here, and most of it I just spent reading those displays because holy fuck, that was something else. That was completely something else. Holy shit. That was worth it, but holy fuck. <laughs> Jeez. Um, shipping. Am I allowed to go into shipping? I kind of want to test this. Give me a moment. Okay. Valid facial pattern detected. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank you. Uh, am I allowed to go in here? Is the question. Apprehensive. Wow, that was not even close. Um, purification. Fuck, that was just a wild guess. <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? Disengage lock. Alright. Cool beans. And... Whoa. Okay. Oh, hi there. I'll take that. That is some power weapon there. It's a, also unique, if I remember right. Uh, just need to get back to that. Um, plasma rifle. That's kind of near worthless. But the matter modulator is very, very strong. And very valuable. Look at that. The damage is 26. The DPS is 106. The value is fucking... That's through the fucking roof. I'm gonna fucking carry this thing. Oh, Nikola Tesla and you. Um, how's my skills when it comes to energy weapons? Eh, the decent? I think Nikola Tesla will benefit me. At least in this particular moment. There we go. Good shit. Grab all of these, because why not? Jeez, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Grab all of this. Whoops. Didn't mean to open that. But it's fine. Uh, laser pistol, pre-war money. I don't think I could repair the plasma pistol with the laser pistol. But I'll try it, and I'll grab another coffee mug for Muggy. Because I feel bad for him, man. His programming is fucked. There we go. And I'll take that. And I'll take this, this, this. And that's about it. Okay, um... Can I repair... I can. Okay. Repair that with that. Yeah, made it a little more valuable. That's good at least. Um, don't need to repair any of that. That's good. Um, hmm. I think that was all I really needed to do. All right. Um, uh, you say I'm okay, which is good. Um, why did the maintenance robot have a health bar? Um, what time is it? 2.14. Okay, well, um, probably not a good thing. So, well, I can't, I can't use this. That sucks. Okay, well, I guess, I guess I have to go up. That's the only option I have. 
But we're going to have to save that for the next episode, because right now, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be allowed to go up to the next level. Yeesh. It might end up becoming a problem real fast. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat, playing games and fucking around with corporate repcon robco america bullshit their displays and wow how bad those were for you